This is how you can play all PC VR games on your Quest 3S by using Airlink, Virtual Desktop or Steam Link directly. And that means that you can finally get some awesome VR experiences that you just can't find on the standard Meta store page. And best of all, this setup guide works for all Quest headsets. But do keep in mind that you need a good PC or laptop as well as a strong internet connection to be able to pull this off, since some specific games actually require a bit more power. So the more buff your PC is, the better. But with with that all said, let's talk about the quickest and easiest way to play Steam VR games on your Quest 3S, and that is with Valve's own app named Steam Link. Because to make this work, all you need to do is to put on your headset and head over to the Horizon Store page. Here, you want to type in and look for the Steam Link app and download it directly to your Quest. Now, once this is installed, you can open it up and you will most likely be greeted with a simple pairing code. Now, all that is left to do is to enter this on your computer that both has the Steam client and Steam VR running on it. And with that, the setup is basically complete, making this by far the fastest way to play the amazing games that Steam has to offer. And a nice extra is that you can also play some non-VR games from your already owned Steam library on a big screen in front of you inside virtual reality. And while there are some other applications that can pull this off too, it is nice to have this option already there without needing any extra setup. And also, besides having a strong internet connection, just make sure that your Quest 3S is always running on the latest software update, because without it, it might not boot up properly. But the the only downside with this method is that you are limited to only the PC VR games from Steam. So if you want to play the ones that are available elsewhere, then the second method known as Airlink might be the better option for you. Now while this option is directly from Meta themselves, it does take some extra steps to fully set up. So firstly, you will have to install the official PC VR software known as Quest Link. This you can simply download from the Meta website, but keep in mind that it is only available for Windows computers. And lastly, you don't want to forget to check the minimum requirements that you need to be able to play PC VR games. Luckily, nowadays, those minimum specs aren't that high anymore. But with all that there and the Link app installed correctly, you can now open it up and log in with your Meta account that is the same as you used to set up your Quest 3S headset. Now to unlock the AirLink feature, just put on your headset and head over to your settings. Here, you want to select System and then go to Quest Link, where you can finally toggle on the Use AirLink feature at the top of the Quest Link panel. Now after this, you will have to choose your computer from the list of available PCs and then click on pairing. This will then most likely show you another pairing code inside VR that you once again have to check if it's the same as your gaming PC. With all that's left to do is just press on launch and start using Airlink. Now the cool thing about it though is that this lets you play PC VR games besides just the ones on Steam. And since this is the official option for Meta, it also gets lots of updates over time, bringing in new features that get added to it. For example, they have now merged the remote desktop and casting within Airlink as well. That means that besides your PC VR games, you can also use the Quest Link app to simply display your computer screen inside virtual reality, as well as stream what you see inside VR directly to your PC screen. And while some of these features are still in the public test channels, it is still more than a welcome upgrade over the basic Steam Link that we had before. But if your Wi-Fi connection is not that good, then there is also a second option inside Quest Link itself, and that is to connect your headset directly by cable. And the setup process is pretty much the same as before, but the only difference is that you now want to start by plugging in the USB 3.0 side of your cable into your computer and the other end into your headset. Then put it on and go to your settings, where you now just want to select Quest Link instead of the previous AirLink function, after which you can choose the computer that you have your headset plugged into and launch it from there. That means that in this this way, it basically turns your 3S into a PC VR headset. But there is another way to pull this off, as well as some must-play PC VR games that you don't want to miss. But before we get into that, let's have a quick word from the company that made this video possible. Because none other than Cat VR, who are known to create VR treadmills that look like they come straight out of Ready Player One, are taking VR once again to the next level. Because while we normally are limited by the space and boundary system inside our virtual reality experiences, it is Cat VR that has been creating VR treadmills that let you run, crouch, and jump without any limitation. And since their most recent version, that is known as the C2 Core, is compatible with nearly every headset, it is often also considered as the dream upgrade for any VR setup. And they even go so far that for those hardcore fans, they also have high-end models that include things like haptic feedback or a vehicle hub, making it feel even more realistic, like riding on a horse inside VR. And as a cherry on top, you can also use the code Frality for a $130 discount on your entire purchase. 
dollars. So for those who are interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. But that gets us to the third option for playing PC VR games on your Quest headset, which is with none other than Virtual Desktop, because this one is absolutely perfect for those who want to get the very best out of their VR headset when it comes to PC VR gaming. Since Virtual Desktop has a lot of different settings that you can change to your own liking. This goes from your frame rate to enhanced resolution upscaling and so much more. And on top of that, as an alternative to Airlink, this one also lets you bring your PC screen inside VR, giving you a great option to multitask with also loads of cool futuristic environments that are much more detailed compared to the ones that you have on Quest 3S. This means it makes it a great option if you want to use it for your virtual workspace or just to watch some awesome anime shows on Netflix. And at all, while also having the possibility to tweak your PC VR experience to even the smallest changes. But to install it, you'll first have to get the app on your headset. So go to the Meta Store page and start looking for Virtual Desktop. And as you might see quickly, the only downside to this app is that it is sadly not free compared to the other options we mentioned before. However, for a lot of people, it might be worth it with the extra options that you can change within here. And in that case, I will also leave a link for you guys in the description below that can at least give you a little bit of a discount. But once you finally installed it, you want to get back to your PC and get either the Windows or Mac version from their official virtual desktop website. Because this is needed to connect your computer to your headset, of course. And that is basically it. Just log in on your virtual desktop PC app with your Meta account and then open it up in your headset to get started, making this also a pretty easy and quick installation. But besides all these different ways to play PC VR on your Quest 3S, we should also talk about some of the must-play games that you don't want to miss once you have everything set up. With the first one, of course, being Half-Life Alex, because this amazing game probably needs no introduction. And while it might not be Half-Life 3, it is definitely one of the few AAA VR games that are out there. And without spoiling the story for those who haven't played it yet, you'll be having some amazing combat and solving puzzles all within a big narrative story, making it, in my opinion, not only one of the must-play PC VR games, but basically one of the best virtual reality experiences, period. But another great title is Skyrim, because this is a massive open-world RPG that gives you hundreds of hours of content to explore. And while it does have some awkward quirks that come from porting over the game from flat screen to virtual reality, it is the mod support on PC that makes this pretty much an unending fountain of things you can do with this. And the same can be said for No Man's Sky. Now while this title definitely had a rough start, it is the insane amount of updates and free DLC that gave it one of the biggest redemption arcs in history, where you can now explore the never-ending universe to your heart's content. But another honorable mention is the game named Boneworks, because this classic VR title pretty much laid the foundation of what future VR games are striving to be when it comes to interactions. Because here you can pick up every object and wield them as weapons while they also have a physical presence within its world, making it sometimes feel even a bit too realistic. But that's not all, because if you want to know, besides just PC VR gaming, how you can also watch movies and shows in high quality on your Quest headset, then click on the video that you see on screen right now to make sure you don't miss out. And of course, stay awesome.